Dave Parody of thinkoutsidetheslide.com here. In this video I want to show you how we can help an audience understand a complex diagram without using a laser pointer. If you put everything up on the slide all at once like this example, people don't know where to look, they start searching, they're not paying attention to you as the presenter, they're trying to figure out the diagram and then if you start using a laser pointer waving it all over the slide, it really gets confusing. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to show you how we can take this diagram, which is an image. I mean, it's typical. You get an image from a, a drawing program or somebody else in the organization. And we're going to break it apart into pieces. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to position the diagram on the slide as big as we want it to be. And so I've decided I'm going to make this as almost as large as the, in, the, the height of the slide. So that's step one. Now, step two, I'll go to the next slide. Step two is to decide what pieces we need to talk about. So I've decided there are going to be four pieces in this diagram. So the first one here is the sales piece, which is how does the sale happen and get into the organization. Then there's the approval piece. Is this sale actually approved or not? And then there are two possible outcomes. Outcome number one is, is that the sale is approved. So we go to the filling an order stage or the other outcome is the sale is not approved, the contract is not approved, and we cancel the order. So we need to decide on the diagram where those pieces are. So that's good to decide, but the other thing you need to do is remember this is one entire image. So we're going to break it into pieces, so we have to define those pieces to put, when we're put together, define the entire image. So. What I need to do is I need to say, okay, the sales portion is going to be this larger area. The cancel order is going to be this larger area. So when I put the four pieces together, they constitute the entire diagram. So that's the planning part. Very important to do the planning up front before you start breaking it apart. So now that we've done our planning, let's go to breaking it apart. So on my image, I'm going to select the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the crop tool. So on the picture tools, format, ribbon, and PowerPoint, you have the crop tool here. And when I click on it, what it does is it adds these black cropping handles to the image. This allows me to do what's non, known as non-destructive cropping, meaning it does not delete the parts of the image that I crop, it only just hides them. So I want my first part to be up here. So I'm, I can use my corner one. The corner one allows you to do uh, some go both horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to need it to be about there for the next part. And that's my first part. So once I've cropped it to my first part, I turn the cropping tool off. Now, the next thing is, is I need the second part to be exactly beside the first part where I need it to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this portion of the image. The way we do that, very quick tip here, going to save you a lot of time, is hold the control key down. And when your cursor moves, notice that little plus sign that just showed up? So when I now drag, this is called duplicate. So control drag is duplicate. And I want to always move it down and to the right. Here's why. Because I need these portions to line up perfectly on top of each other. I'm going to do that by selecting both of the items and then using my align tool. So the align tool allows me to align both of these to the left and then to the top. Now I know they're perfectly on top of each other. Now I need to select just the top image. So I'm going to click outside, so I'm not selecting anything, then click on the top image. Now I'm going to use my cropping tools again. So notice the rest of the image is there. So my next part I know needs to go over to here and actually continues on to the legal part here. And now when I'm moving this crop tool over, how do I get it perfectly to the right side of that previous portion. Well, watch as I'm dragging this across, you'll notice at some point it snaps. You see those red? That is what tells me I've got to that other edge. So this is part number two. Crop that. Now I'll do the exact same thing as I did. The control drag to duplicate, align on top, and then I can crop again. So control drag to duplicate, align to the left, top. This is exactly what I did before. Click outside, now select the top one. So this time when I crop it, I'll go all the way over to the 
right edge of the image. This one will drag over until it snap. There we go. And now I have to go down to the bottom here because that's the bottom of the diagram. Crop that. Now I have to do the bottom part here. So duplicating this item, the one that I just created, really won't work that well. I'll duplicate this one up here. So again, control drag, select the two, line to the left. You see, once you get used to this, it becomes really quite easy. So now I'm going to crop this item and I'm going to all the way to the bottom. And this, oops, always know where that undo button is. See, when you grab, you have to make sure you grab that cropping handle. I'm glad I actually made that mistake because it's a common thing that you need to be aware of. And now snap, there we go. This one over here, snap, there we go. So now I have my four pieces and when put together they are the single diagram. So now I just need to add the animation to build it piece by piece which allows me as a presenter to focus the audience only on one part at a time. So I'll select my first section, use my animations and I'll just use the simple appear animation effect. Then my second one, the same thing appear there, my third one here and then my final one down here up here. So now that I've added these what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and uh, save file and now I'll show you what it looks like in slideshow mode. So when I go to slideshow mode so it starts with the blank slide now I can talk about a click and it shows my first section I can talk about the sales process how it happens that sort of stuff then click the approval process talk about that two outcomes. Outcome number one is it does get approved. If it does get approved then click it moves to fulfillment and it's selected here's how that happens. The other outcome if the changes to the contract are not acceptable click this is what happens and we end up canceling the order. So you can see that by breaking this image apart into pieces using animation to build it back into a single diagram it allows you as a presenter to explain this diagram much easier than trying to wave a laser pointer all over it. The advantage to doing this, breaking it apart instead of, let's say, covering up parts with shapes, is that when you go to print it, this diagram appears as one diagram. So if I look at File and Print, when I go to print it or I go to save it as a PDF, either one, you see the entire diagram. You don't see parts of it covered up by shapes. So that's one of the things I like about this particular method. So that's how you take a complex image, break it into pieces and build it back together so that you as the presenter have control and you can explain this diagram to your audience so they understand it.